just in case you thought this couldn't potentially get any worse, um, we have this. <laughs> Fruit and veg will run out unless Britain charters planes to fly in farm workers from Eastern Europe. Yes, that is the headline. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's like we needed all these people and legal migrants who are coming into this country and contributing to the UK. The UK urgently needs 90,000 uh, posi uh, positions, uh, <coughs> positions to pick crops that will otherwise die in the fields, warns the charity. Charter flights to bring in agricultural workers from Eastern Europe are needed as a matter of urgency. Otherwise, fruit and vegetables will be left unpicked in Britain's fields. The government is being warned. Some large farms have already been chartering planes to bring in labour from Eastern Europe. But farming organisations and recruitment agencies say that in the face of massive disruption to the agricultural sector caused by the spread of the coronavirus, the government needs to step in and help organise more flights. Some 90,000 positions need to be filled, some many in just a few weeks' time. One leading supplier, uh, supplier of, uh, of one leading supplier said the charity Concordia was working to bring in around 10,000 labourers, half from the EU and the rest from Russia, Moldova, the UK, Belarus, uh, Georgia, and Barbados. But all the non-EU countries are now closed. On Wednesday, uh, it was a big setback. Ukraine extended its lockdown from April 2nd to the 23rd of April. Um, Stephanie Merkel, Cordial's uh, chief executive, said that our recruitment outside the EU is stalled, which leaves us with Lithuania, which has closed its borders, uh, Romania with no airplanes, and Bulgaria, with little, uh, with, which is our little beacon of hope. Although Bulgaria is, uh, on, the country, uh, is on a countrywide lockdown, Farm workers are classed as key workers and can move around the country. But most airlines that operate in Bulgaria, including EasyJet, are grounded. A Wizz Air flight bringing in 450 people landed a week ago on Saturday. We're talking about chartering planes to bring workers in, Merkel said. It costs around £10,000 for a flight, for an hour's flight, carrying 229,000 people. That's 455,000 uh, euros, Sofia to London or around €250 Euros per person. Merkel, who said the plan was being advised and discussed by both the National Farmers Union and the Association of Labour Providers, called upon the government to help provide urgent clarity. If I were to put up uh, reserves and guarantees to secure a charter flight, I need to know that it can take off. Some farmers were struggling even before the crisis hit. A, uh, a tightening on the labour market, a, a combination of Brexit and the booming domestic economies of Eastern Europe providing more attractive to seasonal workers, and it's seen a decline in the number of fruit and vegetable pickers coming to the UK. Because of tightening labour uh, of labour laws, we have already lost, uh, lost a large percentage of farms, Merkel said. This will finish others off. You won't have fruit or veg in the shops. Asparagus, bean sprouts start in a couple of weeks. Uh, cucumbers early April. Tomatoes are all year round. In May, it's soft fruits. Strawberries, raspberries, lettuce, cucumbers have all been in the ground since December. Nick Merson, the chairman of British Summer Fruits, which represents soft fruit growers, acknowledged that this industry was entering an unprecedented time. Last year, 98% of fruit pickers, now classed as key workers, came from outside the UK, the vast majority from Bulgaria and Romania. British growers have been contacting companies in the hospitality sector to recruit laid-off staff. The British Summer Fruits website carries an interactive map showing the locations of farms around the UK and jobs on offer. We are very optimi optimistic about the ability of UK residents to come and help us, Merton said. Uh, that may be people from Eastern Europe who are working here in the hospitality sector who are relatively young and don't have many ties and want a job paying reasonable pay in reasonable conditions. The Environmental Secretary George Eustace said that our farmers are doing a fantastic job of feeding the nation during this immense challenging time. I've been speaking with industry about the critical importance of the seasonal workers who usually come from Europe to pick fruit and veg. We need to mobilise the British workforce to fill the gap and make sure that our excellent fruit and vegetables are on people's plates over the summer months. Basically, nothing. That was a nothing comment. <laughs> uh, 
Um, what he just said there. Uh, there are usually already brilliant recruitment efforts underway by the industry, and I would encourage many others as possible to sign up. We will also be looking at other ways to make sure farms have support they need ahead of the busy harvest months, while also keeping uh, workers safe and protected. So, essentially, a whole load of nothing from uh, George Eustace there, the man in charge of this. And, yeah, remember that food crisis? Um, remember when Brexiteers said that there will be enough food? And uh, there we go. Um, yeah. Happy. Remember, guys, you did it. You got your sovereignty back. And, you know, there's not going to be enough food off the table. <laughs> I laugh, but this is serious. Um, yeah. Uh, we told you when this was, which was all going down in 2016 what the consequences would be. We told you again continuously after this what the consequences would be. We said when they brought in this point system, and literally at the beginning of this year, what the consequences would be. And here we are. And bear in mind, already said there, that the farmers in this country were already struggling. So this idea about food prices remaining low, that was just a complete lie um, by the Brexiteers. Once again, Project Fear is turning into Project Reality.